It's finally happened. We now have an open source solution for creating AI avatars. It means without pay subscriptions on your local machine and it's gonna work even without an internet. Of course, such solutions existed before, but the quality of those tools was far from impressive. In fact, sometimes it was quite horrible. Hi. My name is Lisa. Now with Echomimic V2, we have an open source tool which allows us to create realistic AI avatars uh, with realistic emotions, mimics and even gestures. Only look at this. Previously, creating such avatars required a very powerful GPUs. However, with Echomimic V2, you can generate videos using only 12 gigs of ROM, even with a GPU like HX 3060. To start working with Echomimic V2, uh, visit its GitHub page. And here you can find all detailed information about this repository and also how to install it on your local machine. If you don't like all this coding stuff or if you don't like Conda environment, like me, uh, you can use much better options for this purpose and it's Pinocchio.computer, a so-called AI browser for your local machine. Go to pinocchio.computer and download installer, if you don't have one. After completion of installation, click on the discover icon here and enter in a search Echomimic 2. In this case, already have Echomimic 2 because it's very popular repository. And also important, this uh, repository is verified. It's very safe to use it on your local machine. Click on this repository and press download button. After you will start the installation process. It takes about an hour, but sometimes you might have some problems with installation. In this case, I recommend just delete everything and starting once again. Well, after completing of installation, you can run Echomimic and by pressing run button. And there might be an error in a terminal that uh, there is no model called uh, Triton. It's not a serious issue because this uh, repository will work without Triton as well. An interface of Echomimic. It's very, very simple. You should specify your input image, input audio, then you should choose input pose. At this moment, there is only one pose is available, but this pose is great because it has hand movement and we've never had such movement before. Uh, there is also an option to choose a resolution. I would prefer to use the standard one. Also the steps amount. I used 30 steps and to be honest, there wasn't too much difference. So you can use the default one as well. 20 steps is sufficient and FPS and CFG. There is a very important parameter, int 8 quantization. If you don't have powerful GPU with a lot of ROM, you should activate this feature. But it's not so easy. There is some trick here. Mm, you can just use a random input image with your uh, token avatar. It should have, it must have the same poses as it specified here in the examples. And actually it's quite tricky to use because you should copy this pose. Uh, you have several options for this. The obvious one is to use uh, open pose control net. If you have automatic 11.11, control net tool is for you. You can also try to find any hug and face spaces with control net. I specifically use focus for this purpose and generated this image here. There is some problems with hands, as you can see, some artifacts, but it's okay. It should work. Also, as for supporting languages, there is only two languages, as I understand, Chinese and English. So we can specify our audio here. And after, just press generate button. Well, if you don't have a powerful GPU or you're fighting all of this not so impressive and so convenient to use, the sponsor of today's video is for you. And this is dubdub.com, an all-in-one solution for creating AI avatars, video translations, AI voiceover, AI transcription, AI writing, and a lot of lot of different things all right here in one place. So if we choose uh, AI avatars option, you might probably not be so impressed by the quality because there is not too much movement here. It's okay for creating something like a congratulations, which is especially relevant now for something more serious. It's not so good, 
but there is a new feature for creating a AI avatar with gestures. And exactly this one is very, very impressive. As you can see here, uh, you can create gesture avatar or choose any avatar right here. All these guys looks very, very natural. Only look at this. Enhance your communication and engagement with personalized avatar. I can speak over 40 languages and customize my voice to your preferences. It's very, very cool. And there is some predefined avatars with different clothes and different styles. Enhance your communication and engagement with personalized avatar. I can speak over... But you can also create your own avatar with your face if you wanted to do that. I already created several avatars and my experience was very, very nice. But there is also a different features, not only creating AI avatars, but also you can create AI transcription, video translation. Uh, there is a lot of different languages, up to 30, I suppose, even more than 30 languages. And uh, which is really nice and to my mind, the best features here, it's ability to post editing this video with really nice editing software right here in the browser press edit button here you see the editing software there is a lot of features like uh, creating a avatar right here creating audio images subtitles transitions effects there is a lot of different effects and all of this available right here in a browser and i do like it i like to have everything in one place the best features here that dubdub.com has a free version which allows you to test it out, play around and understand how good this service is, specifically for you user case. So feel free to test it out and let's come back to the Echo Mimic V2. After 5 minutes of waiting, we've got our video. And here is the result. Wow, that's awesome! Thanks, Cat! Well, it takes 5 minutes for uh, three seconds, which is not so effective, especially if we take into account that I have a very powerful GPU, a uh, 3090 Ti. Uh, the final quality of the video is not so great at first glance. There is some artifacts, there is some flickering effects, but you can cope with all of that using editing software, frame interpolation, will help you to reduce all that effects. And I had a video where I explained how to use frame interpolation in a DaVinci Resolve. Overall, this is very great result. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And guys, I want to ask you to press like button to this video and write the comment about your thoughts, what you're thinking about uh, Echo Mimic V2 and dubdub.com, uh, the sponsor of today's video. And... I wish you great holidays and bye-bye.